So right next to the Geology Museum is the Science Museum, which looks really, really cool. Um, most of it's in Japanese though. They have an English pamphlet, but I think most of the explanation is going to be in Japanese for this stuff. So I'm going to let June do the explaining for this place. I doubt I can. Like Translate it to English, June. You can do it. <laughs> That's a cool robot right there. Why are they? Oh, they're babies. <laughs> it's a therapeutic robot. Oh, Jim, look, look at the people hugging the seal robots. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? How adorable. Oh, I miss my kitties. Oh, hi. In the video I saw, she was like a uh, patient oh, at the oh, dentist. Oh, she's the... These are actual prototypes for humanoid robots. That's awesome. My PS cells. Okay. In my Japanese class, they used to have, um, they used to give us some like articles for homework where we'd have to read them. And one of them was on Japanese IPS cells. The whole article was on IPS. It was really, really interesting. The article I read was about like restoring teeth. Restoring teeth? You can do that? Isn't this amazing? Like, I'm so excited about technology. Oh, hey, can we, can we, oh, can we test our yeah. hearing test? Okay, so this is low, middle, yeah. high, and this is the challenge high. level. Okay, let's start with 8,000. Wait, this is just one. Oh, I can hear something even here. That's not From here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, I don't need headphones. Yeah, I can hear. I don't need, I do not need headphones. I wonder if this camera re could hear that. This is not pleasant. Oh, I couldn't hear from here this not time. <laughs> it's painful. Okay. It's literally painful. Sorry, maybe it's too loud. Oh, okay, it says only some, like, few people can yeah. hear this level. But you could hear this one, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't hear this. So 22,000 hertz. No. Can I try? Yeah. This is the sound when mm -hmm. someone says something that they're not supposed to say on TV shows. <laughs> That's the bleeping. This is what it sounds like. You said you can hear this? Yeah, you can't hear it, dude. Dude, can you not hear it? <laughs> Yeah. I can't hear this one. <laughs> Dude, your hearing is like... My limit is 18,000 hertz. <laughs> you can't hear it? No, I can't. There's so many more things that like super interesting cool stuff here. Dude, this is all about light and how light changes. The properties of light change depending on its wavelength. This is how this monitor looks in real life. But with this. What? Changing the wavelength of the light emitted from the monitor. Yeah, and it changes it, how they look. Once it goes through here, it changes the wavelength and it allows us to finally see what's on the screen. That's cool. Yeah, it is very cool. Oh. So they do have explanations for everything in, in English. Yep. You come here, so you can actually read about this stuff. So if you're here for the geology museum, you should definitely stop in here too. Richard, come look. So it has 20 times the strength of steel and it has 10 times the thermal conductivity of copper, mm -hmm. half the density of aluminum, 10 times the carrier mobility of silicon. Mm -hmm. So this material is basically like... Dream. Super material. Yeah. Colored night vision. They're oh, what? A camera <laughs> that can add the colors back to night vision. That's not night vision anymore. That's just a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because it's infrared. Colored infrared. So here, they're developing a technology that makes it feel like you're interacting with the objects in virtual reality. 
for a video game, so this could make for a much more immersive experience. And they have an example for us to try, which is not, it's not as much as like a, something actually being attached to your hand there, but they have this board here and we can try this, this touch screen, we can try pressing things on the screen. This one you need to press heavily, I mean, it's hard. Oh, okay. So this is no effect. And then, oh, so it makes it more, I have to press a lot harder for that. And then pressing this, it's easier. I so don't have to press this hard. When you press this one, you have to press it really. I have really. to push down harder, so. So that's what she thinks, but it's actually, nothing is changing here. You're tricked. What's, what's changing? It's the vibrate that's coming from the bottom. It feels like you have to you have to press really hard for this one, but uh -huh. no, you're not. Look. Wait, so I'm not actually changing? Yeah. How hard? Nothing is changing here. Wait, so isn't something on the bottom of this pushing up? So it's making. It's not pushing press? up. It's the wave that's coming from the bottom. That's what she said. The wave. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a switch. You can try. It feels like oh. you're actually. Yeah, because I press it in and it doesn't come back up. Yeah, but again, remember it's the same. <laughs> when I... The action here isn't changing. When I when I press it in, like it. You can feel the. It feels like nothing's popping back up. It feels like it's just pressed permanently in. Mm. So it feels like I should just be able to keep pressing this, and this would get lower and lower and lower. But press home button now. Next. That's not happening. That's so weird. Oh, that's dial. And I can try turning a dial. Because... Whoa. It's all the way. It feels like I'm actually... Dude, it really feels like it. Yeah, but you're not pressing. All I'm doing is pushing down on a screen here. This is just a sample, the actual product. This. Like, it can create so many more feelings. Um, it says you can, all, you can even recreate the feeling of when the rubber band snaps. Oh, what? I think that's what it says. Yeah, deceiving our brain with the wave. What? That's crazy. So they can put this into smaller technology. Like this. Something you could wear on your finger or just hold in your hand. And then it would make it feel like you're much more immersed in the game than you actually are. That's really cool. Yeah, our brains are easily tricked. This is so dangerous. Like, <laughs> once this, people are never gonna leave video games. It's hard enough to stop playing video games as it is. This is totally bad. If she speaks nothing, I would assume she's actually real human. Oh. So they attach this to someone's head, like someone who has a difficulty communicating and then they're able to look at a screen and select things with their mind. For example, selecting messages that say like, I'm hungry, or can you roll me over? Things like, isn't that awesome? So there's like electricity things going on here, mm -hmm. and then they <laughs> detect it. There's electricity stuff going on here, you yeah. guys. Okay, so that was the Geology Museum and the Science Museum here. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool spot. Um, it's, I guess it's like this whole institution. They have a lot of like, research facilities here. Uh, they have JAXA, like the Japanese version of NASA and stuff. And these are two spots that are free to go to. You can get here, I think, by train or by car. If you go by car, then the security guard at the front will have, like, he'll give you something to put in the windshield so that you're allowed to park and just come visit the stuff. But it's really cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah. You should it, definitely <laughs> try, especially the hearing test. Yeah, it is. It was fun. So if you guys enjoyed this, we make a lot more videos about Japan on our channel, Rachel and June. So mm -hmm. please feel free to come over and watch our stuff too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.